from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. Well, if you've been hanging around the Backyard Tech channel long enough now, you know that Old Mate uses Rufus to install ISOs onto USB keys so that I can install them instead of having to use optical media all the time. Well, a good friend of mine up there in New South Wales here in Australia has alerted me and other members of the AOT Facebook group about a new ISO to USB platform, only this one allows you to put multiple ISOs onto one USB key. It's product review time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, we're going to take a look at the latest offering from Ventoy. Linux. Windows. Op systems and apps. This is the Backyard Tech System Setup and Product Review. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is product review time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Thursday and we're taking a look at a new USB, or I should say actually ISO to USB program that a good friend of mine up there in New South Wales, Adam Anderson, alerted both myself and other members of the AOT Facebook group to. Now, he found out about it. I've never even heard of it, although most of you sys administrators out there and high-level uh, IT scientists probably have heard of it and know all about it, and little pleb old mate here in Australia has got no idea about it. It's, uh, it's called Ventoy. Uh, I'll just give you a quick rundown of it. The latest release is 1.0.9. Ventoy is an open source tool to, cre to create bootable USB uh, drive for an ISO files. With Ventoy, you don't need to format the disk again and again. Now, Rufus, we know, does this by default. Every time you install something to Rufus, it just reformats the drive for you. What this allows you to do, though, is copy multiple ISOs to one USB key and boot from all of them. All right? Um... You can copy as many ISO files at a time, and Ventoy will give you a menu to a, a, give you a boot menu to select from. Both Legacy BIOS and UFI are supported in the same way, 200 plus uh, in the same way, and they've done 200 plus ISO files and tests. So it looks like across the board, it's very very compatible. So I thought for this video, we'd have a quick sticky beak at Ventoy. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so one USB three key. And here it is here, Ventoy two disc. And this is what you're presented with. Okay, so you can see here, we have, um, this is pretty much where you get secure boot. All right, so you can turn that on or off. We're gonna turn it off for this. And what we're gonna do, uh, yep, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. Oh, okay. What have I done wrong here? Hang on a minute. Okay, sometimes old mate is an idiot, but we know that. All right, so now what we do is I bring up just let me grab a let me grab my downloads folder here. Okay. So what we can do now, actually I've got to open another unit here. I've got to open that one. Apparently. Alright. So now what we do is we can grab uh, let's grab I don't want the V, I want the VGA. Where have I put it? Where have I put it? <laughs> <coughs> I can't find where I've put it. Open sense, there it is. So all you do is format it, and then you just copy the ISOs to it, and then what we might do is, uh, 
grab one of those computers I've got, go over to the plasma screen and boot from it and see how it works. So we'll copy a couple of ISOs over, just for the purposes of doing this. I'll take that one over as well. Damn, that's good. <laughs> oh. A bit slow to copy. My, my, I haven't restarted my main PC for about a week and a half so far. I could probably do with a restart, but anyway. Actually, it probably could do with a restart. The more I think about it, it probably needs a restart, something severe. Okay. So, we have our two ISOs on that USB, and you can see here it's marked Ventoy, all right? So, it's ready to go, all right? And now, what we'll do is I'll grab the video camera, we'll grab one of those PCs that I've got, and uh, we will um, we'll go and see how it works. All right, so, for the purposes of this, I've got the... This funky black box, this is the one that's got the Core i5-7500 in it. We have our newly formatted USB. We'll put that in the back. Oh, you almost got a shot of my head then. Alright, so I've got keyboard right here. Let me bring you up to the plasma. And zoom you in. Oh, other way, hang on. A bit far. Okay, let's uh, see what this is all about. Well, first off, I've got, to, I've got to figure out how to boot this into USB. So I'll actually go for delete first. Now, this does format it as secure boot. But what I want to do first is... The boot menu must be boot 12. Uh, okay, so there's... I'm not sure you guys can see that at the moment. I'll zoom in for you shortly. I'm just trying to work out... Um, you know, this is this Core i5. It's got 16 gig of RAM in it. assume it's F8, which is normally boot menu. I could be wrong. There it is. Okay, so if we zoom in a little bit, it was F8. I zoom in a little bit for you. There we go. So, you can see here, all right, we have the two Eufy boot systems, all right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to assume this works. That one. See what it does. Ah, there we go. Oh. Okay. So the two USB. So this is the this is the interface here, guys. Okay. This is the interface here. Oop, there we go. So you can see. Um. It's essentially a, a complete, it's like booting into any Linux operating system. But if you have a look, the two files I copied aren't actually there. Only one of them's there. Okay. So, it didn't like OpenSense, but it took MX19. All right, let's see what this does, shall we? Let's, let's just demonstrate this. Oh, look at that. Huh. Wow. Okay, let me just go and try and put another ISO file onto this disk. Okay, just copy the ISO. And we'll see whether Ventoy can actually boot, say, to another ISO and we get a list of ISOs. So bear with us and I'll be back. All right, I've just copied two more Linux ISOs to this. So let's see what this does. F8. Come on. Alright.
whoops, that's not right. Haha, <laughs> whoopsie. Try that again, shall we? Hit the wrong button. The problem with this unit having, having so many partitions that, uh, that's the one I want. Okay, so we have Debian 10.4. Okay, we have MX and we have PEP. So you see here that you can just install various ISOs and then you can just click on one and that didn't sound good. You know, there's Debian 10. Alright, or we can go Escape. Oh, okay, that doesn't work so well. <laughs> go back to F8 again. This could actually be very handy for me because I'm always installing um, So let's try the Peppermint ISO, shall we? Ugh Hmm That one didn't work so well, did it? Oh dear Let's just, I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to try one other thing. Hang on. F8. F5. I want to try this one here and just see whether or not it'll boot under UFI. Oh, it does. Okay. So, let's try the Peppermint ISO again. There it goes. So, this is actually a really, really handy little program. This is really good. Try peppermint without it. Let, let's boot in. Let's see what it does. All right. It literally does run it like an ISO. I tell you what, this is really, really, really good. This is really good. If I can find where I've put the mouse. and it will install well there we are guys, I can tell you what, old, mate, old mate's going to hang on to this I'm, I'm actually going to be able to use Ventoy more than Rufus because it's going to give me that option of using it like a standard um, uh, everything, so in other words on a 16 gig USB key you can put a heap onto it so I'm actually, I am going to hang on to this one guys um, because, well, actually, I'll tell you what. Let, let's let's see whether or not it will actually install. I don't care if I kill this hard drive. All right, um, I'm going to use this computer that we're testing this on. Will be used for something else later down the track. It looks like it will actually install it. We'll just test this theory, alright? If I bugger this up, I'll bugger it up. I don't actually care. Because <laughs> I do have a use for the... I have worked out what I'm doing with this Core i5-7500. 7th Gen Core i5. It does have a purpose, trust me. Uh, are you working or have you stalled out? No, you are working. We're just taking time. Okay. Alright. Pep does this quite often, I find. We'll save video time. I'll come back if this works. Hang on. Yeah, I think my Peppermint ISO might be a little funky. So, we'll try it with uh, MX. Searching for boot device. I tell you what, if this works, I'm going to be a very happy camper. <laughs> <coughs> it's quick. It's a lot quicker than Rufus. We'll just we'll just test this out. All right, we'll just test this out. 
I think part of the reason it's quick is uh Ooh. Oh, this thing's still got freaking windows in it. Hang on a minute. Damn. Still got windows on it. Well, what I'll do, we might actually try this uh, at a later date. But I've got to tell you guys, I'm actually really impressed with this. Because this, this, this does allow you to put multiple ISOs onto this thing and then run them. Oh, the hard drive stuck. Oh, I know what's wrong with this thing. Yeah, okay, the hard drive's had it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. Um, I now know why this computer is is <laughs> with me. Yeah, I now remember why I was told to take this one. This one and its brother, the Core i7, that I was supposed to get both have hard drives that are knackered so but anyway there we go all right well ventoy i'm actually fairly impressed oh it's crushed there we go it does allow you to put multiple isos and boot on them i'll leave a link in the description below but i'm very very impressed with it very impressed with it can't say no to that there we go Stick around guys because we've also got another KOSS tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description below. But I'd say, fantastic little uh, ISO to USB system. There we go. Stick around, plenty more coming up. Have a good one. Cheers.